Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Occasional Kaluma Gaming. I am, of course, your host, Stando. The biggest thing that happened this week was, of course, Apex Legends. Let's just jump into it. Apex Legends is the latest craze in the Battle Royale genre. The game was created by Titanfall developer Respawn Entertainment and has already amassed a player base of over 10 million players, easily bumping Fortnite to the curbs in terms of not only players, but also its current audience. As Apex has become the number one game viewed on Twitch. Last I checked, Fortnite had dropped to about third, right behind League of Legends. A lot of you may be wondering, is it any good? Is this game any good? The game is based in the same universe as Titanfall and carries over a lot of the fast-paced shooting mechanics with a twist. There are heroes in the game, each with their own unique abilities that seem comparable and balanced out, but I'm sure some of the mechanics will get a few buffs and nerfs here and there throughout its life cycle. This is a free-to-play game that combines the likes of Overwatch and Blackout to be its own thing, and it's pretty decent. It's a pretty good time. Respawn has said that they are committed to the game in the long term and plan to release free content over several years. They also mentioned that it was a hard sell and risk when they presented this thing to EA, who are the dark overlords of the video game universe. Apparently EA had no idea that Respawn was working on a BR game and thus uh, the game is monetized, everything about it, it's all on Respawn. It does have loot boxes and it also has a direct to buy market but you can also earn items in game. I noticed during my play uh, sessions that loot boxes actually come pretty often and always guarantee a rare item. As far as throwing money at the game in support of their free to play efforts, nothing has in the skin stores really got me all that excited. But that could change if the game sticks around for as long as it, it seems to be promising. Have you tried Apex Legends and if so, what did you think about the game? Let me know. In other EA news, if you were hoping that EA would relinquish the Star Wars license or that Disney would yank it away, dream on. Apparently Disney is happy with the two games that they published with it being like 8 years into their 15 year agreement. In a recent earnings call for Disney, Bob Iger told investors, quote, We've had a good relationship with some of those we're licensing to, notably EA and the relationship on the Star Wars properties, and we're probably going to stay on that side of the business and put our capital elsewhere. We're good at making movies and television shows and theme parks and cruise ships and the like. We've just never managed to demonstrate much skill on the publishing side of video games. I don't know what kind of fucked up version of the universe this guy is living in, but when the company you are licensing to has only put out two games and they're sitting on the cream of the ship franchise doing nothing with it because they are too worried about fucking up their own own franchise IPs, then not everything is so hunky-dory, okay? Why not just do the Marvel thing and do it on a game per game basis? I so do not understand big corporations. They are just greedy. All they want is the money. They want all the money. But the thing is, to get all the money, all they have to do is is really simple. Instead, though, they do and say shit like this and piss off the consumer base. Why not just make a good game at face value with trusted developers? I mean, Jesus Christ, I know I'm preaching to the choir these days, but man. Anyway, guys. That's all I have for you guys this week. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you don't miss another video. Don't forget to check us out on the web over at occasionaldilemma.com and over at Twitch nearly seven days a week. Twitch.tv slash Love your face, guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.